about the respiratory systems. Okay, the respiratory system here or in Thai we use the term ระบบแลกเปลี่ยนแกระบบแลกเปลี่ยนแก๊ส Okay, so it's continued to the circulatory system from the digestive system and circulatory system. The body here obtain the glucose, and the glucose here sent to the circulatory systems. Okay, to feed the glucose to all cells in your body. But in case of the gas, you need a gas supply here as oxygen gas, and you need to remove the carbon dioxide here. Uh, you supply the oxygen to the cells, to the body cells, and you remove the carbon dioxide here out of the body cells by the respiratory systems. And the characters of the respiratory organ or a way of what is a nigga like being gas. This one here, they need a thin sheet and moisture is mean the liquid on the surface. Because before you transfer the oxygen gas into the body cells, you need to dissolve oxygen here to the thin layers of the water of the respiratory organ first. Okay, so the thin sheet here used for allow the gas to exchange both of oxygen gas and carbon dioxide. And moisture here or the water here is important for the gas dissolution or color line of gas. For example, in the spiders, we have a special uh, respiratory organ as a book lung. And in the chicken here, we use a lung or board. Or is the sponge here, we use the body skin to exchange the gas. And the fish here use a gill. Basically, in the caterpillars or the insects, we use a spiracle, the small holes on the body, to exchange the gas. Or spiracle, we use the term "drew hai jai." Here, the other spe specific respiratory organs for the lung here used for the land animals. Okay, and the skin here used for the amphibian or sat kung bok kung nam. Uh, and the earthworm. In case of the amphibian here, you can have both and uh, both respiratory organ between the skin and the lung. But in case of the earthworm here, you will use the uh, skin only. And gill, this one used for the aquatic animals. Okay, so when when you compare between the land animals and aquatic animal here, it depends on the living areas of the animals or habitat or t i n t i u If it live in the water here, if we use the gill mainly. And if it live on land here, if we use the lung, like this, or some special characters as we have the trachea for the insects and the arthropod. The arthropod here mean the segmented leg or sac car core. As the example, uh, the examples of the arthropod will be the insects, and the book gill. This one used for the horseshoe crab, and the book lung used for the spiders. Let's see. This is the flatworm of the. Or or the planaria, the planaria has used the flat bodies, so they use the skin to exchange the gas. Okay, carbon dioxide moving, uh, sorry, oxygen moving and carbon dioxide move out, and the gills of the fish here, they compose of many gill filament or sen ngue. This one used for increasing the surface area of the of the gill to let the gas can exchange easily. And the trachea of the insect, you can see this is a spiracle as I mentioned earlier, and they compose of a big tube. The big tube here, so called the trachea, and the small tube we call tracheoles. Okay, it is direct exchange of the gas between the cells to the environment without their blood cells. And in human here, we have a lung for the land animals, and the lung here compose many part. For example, trachea, and we have the blood vessel moving around the al alveol alveolus, or oh, sorry, the alveoli. Uh, it is a small sac that used for exchanging the gas in human. And we also have this one for the gill gill structure. We have two two different type of the gill. The first one we call internal gill and external gill. In case of the internal gill here, the example is a clam. The gills it is in, is inside the body, and the sea star here. This one here, the gill is, um, on the surface of the body. This one will be the external gills. And for the external gill, in case of the marine worm or m a p r e y a n g in h i v e this one here they use the external gills. Here we call parapodia. The parapodia here, uh, they have two function. The first one is to exchange with the oxygen gas and release carbon dioxide, and it's also used for moving. For the movement. Okay, and the crayfish, the gills is inside the body. This one is internal gill. 
so the structure of of the gills we use the gills of the fish as the example they are uh, they compose of many gill filaments like this the hair like structure like this and basically in fish we have six pairs the in the example as i mentioned earlier the internal gills here occur inside the body as the shrimp the crab or the bivalvia or the group the the clam with two shell or hoi song fa and the squid and the external gill here occur in the mud puppy or the salamander is a kind of salamander and the marine worm or maprian here this is the external gill and internal gills the external gill is outside the body internal gills is inside the body okay this one key factor is to protect they get protected from a danger and they exchange the oxygen gas with carbon dioxide better in case of the external gills okay the fish here they have the bone to cover the gill we call opercul operculum this one big operculum and this is inside you will see the small hair like structure here this one we call gill filament and in case of mud puppy here the gill is outside the body so it is easily damaged by the predators okay and it's used for a short time a temporary time okay this is a mud puppy or salamander and this is fish the trachea is the tracheal system or trachea this one used in olobotolum used in the insects centipede or the carp and millipedes and you see in this system in flying insects for example mosquito like this or the house fly um, there is no pigment in the blood in the body fluid because they they have a direct exchange between the gas carbon dioxide to the environment so inside the blood vessels here they have the blood cells and the plasma contain no pigment okay and the blood cell also no pigment but sometimes it can be blue blue colors because of copper or copper at copper atoms Okay, so they don't need the circulatory system to transfer the gas, but they also need the circulatory system for transferring of the nutrient from the digestive system. Okay, and this is the structure of the uh, grasshopper. So you will see a big air sac. Because this grasshopper here can fly, so they need the space inside the body and store more gas. So they have the air sac like this. Many air sacs from big to small. And you can see a big tube like this. We call trachea. And the holes on the, on the body here will be the spiracles. The enlargement here, the picture, you will see the spiracle like this. And the trachea, trachea like this. And the small tube like this we call tracheo. So the term tracheo here occurs just only in the tracheal system. In a human, we do not use the term uh, tracheos. Okay, so the cell here can, can do the direct exchange of the gas at the end of the tube like this so this is the drawing okay in case of these respiratory tree this one is a special organ for the sea cucumber or bling pale okay it is like a hair like structure but basically this one here will the they will put inside the body it is not outside the body like this and the upper part here we have the mouth part Okay, and the mouth part, they have many tentacles or not. This is different form of the tentacles. We have many thick form, pellet form. But this part it is not related to the respiration. It's just like the, the eating part. But the respiratory tree here yes, is inside the body like this. It's a head. It's tree-like structures. And they show the branching to increase the surface area. Bukio. Bukyu here is respiratory tree in uh, it is respiratory organ is a hot horseshoe crab. It's in this location. Okay, in the abdomen part of the horseshoe crab. So this one. So when you open it, you can see the small make uh, many uh plate like structures. So it's like a book. We call bukyu. It's under the water. But in case of the spider here, we have uh books book like structure the same way but is it inside the body so we call this one as a book gill at the abdomen part and you can see the hole here the hole is also used the term like a, a spiracle or something in the animal lung we have different type of lung okay in case of the amphibian amphibian here you will see the lung here it contains small very small space and very small lungs but get bigger in case of the uh, reptile and that septum between the lung here become like a reduce they reduce the numbers of the septum so you can have more opening but in case of the 
uh, mammals here, the lung is quite large. And inside the lung here, they separated into many small sacs. That one we call alveolus or alveoli. This one used for increasing uh, surface area to exchange the gas. Okay, another type of the lung we call lung in the lens, lens snails. The lens, in, in the lens snails, sometimes we call fake lung. It is not true lung because like a, it's, it's like a, look like a leaf of, uh, leaf like this and they increase the surface areas and exchange the gas inside the hole of the body body cavity like this so it can it's just like the, the internal gills okay but they sometimes they call this one as a lung in case of plant snail thank you